Good morning. Thanks for your company this Wednesday, the 2nd of December. I'm Jessica Ramirez, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, on the first day of December, U.S. stocks rallied to a record closing high, buoyed by lawmakers unveiling a $908 billion stimulus plan, which includes $200 billion in paycheck protection for small businesses. Also boosting sentiment was the fact that online sales reached $10.8 billion on Cyber Monday, which is a big sale day in the U.S. Now, that's the largest U.S online shopping day ever and 15% higher than last year's. The good news saw money come out of safe havens like the 10-year government bond and money flowed back into stocks with broad buying taking place across most of the sectors. Apple shares up three, Intel followed, banks also did well like JP Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs. Now the Dow ended point 8% higher, the S&P 500 up 1.1 and the Nasdaq up the most 1.3%. Commodity screens seeing a lot of action as well. The oil price slipped 1.7% but it stayed in nine month high uh, territory at $44.57 US. The iron ore price saw a sizable 5% lift to $130 US, while copper continued to push north up 1.7% with demand continuing to grow from China for both of these commodities. The gold price lost 2% as the safe haven US dollar fell. Now what to watch today? Well, the Aussie share market looks set for another positive day. A lift of 0.6 of a percent is on the cards. That's if you go by the futures. Don't forget yesterday the RBA announced the economic recovery is going better than expected with the Aussie economy tipped to have recovered all of its COVID lost activity by the end of next year. Now the central bank forecasts GDP to be 5% next year and 4% the year after in 2022. But today we'll get a gauge of to how much the economy grew in the September quarter. Growth of 2.6% is expected. Now that means the economy will have recovered from its first recession in 29 years as the last two quarters of growth when negative. So today, if growth for the, the September quarter is higher, expect stocks in mining, airlines, travel, tourism, consumer spending to do well. If growth is weaker though, expect a bit of a pullback in some of those sectors. As for trading ideas, it could be worth a look. Bell Potter upgraded Grain Corp, upgrading their buy rating and increasing their target to $5.05. That implies 14% upside in a year for Grain Corp. What's key is GNC had a bumper year and season. It's crop year to date is at an 11-year high and 75% above its 10-year average. The bottom line, GNC's forecasts and crops are stronger than expected. And UBS upgraded its buy rating and target on SSR Mining, which is a gold, silver, tin company. UBS increased SSR's target to $33. The reason? A recent technical report uh, on SSR showed that its mine in Turkey is large scale, low cost, and it's got a long life of 20 years. So that's SSR Mining, UBS buy. And today, Bell Potter reiterated its favorite COVID-19 recovery stocks, and they include Aristocrat Leisure, ANZ, Macquarie, Flights into Travel, and Qantas, just to name a few. And lastly, from a charting perspective, keep an eye on Goodman Group, Ready Tech Holdings, and Nick Scarly, all showing bullish charting signals, according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Marie with Bell Direct. Stay safe. Happy trading.